beautiful, clear picture of someone's face can speak a thousand words, but too often your digital camera has a difficult time capturing even skin tones. This becomes especially obvious when your subjects have very dark or very light skin. But you can get beautiful, rich pictures no matter who your subject is. It's easy if you know how to fool your camera. Today, I'm going to teach you how to work with your camera's metering system to bring out the rich details in your subject's skin. And then you'll learn how to work with your pictures on the computer to bring out any details that the camera may have hidden. Get the most out of your digital camera. That's next on The Whole Picture. Welcome to The Whole Picture. I'm Erin Manning. You know, taking good pictures of people with really light skin tones and really dark skin tones can be a real challenge, especially if they're both in the picture together. Actually, taking a photograph anywhere where you have a lot of darks and lights in the image, a lot of contrast, can be a challenge. That's because digital cameras are really better at just capturing those mid-tones in the image. Add on to the fact that a lot of people leave their camera in the automatic setting so that when they go and take a picture with a lot of contrast in the scene, that camera's light meter is going to analyze all the lights and darks and everything in the scene and make its best guess for the exposure. The only problem is its best guess might be wrong. So you want to make sure you know how your camera works, all those functions and features, know how to use them so they'll compensate for the camera's limits and you can get the best exposure possible. Now I have a student, Elijah, and he took a picture of his sister and he left the camera in the automatic setting and he took a picture of his sister in her stark white kitchen. So you might guess what happened. The camera's light meter exposed for all the lights and darks in the scene. Now there were more lights in the scene, so it underexposed the entire image. So he just didn't get the results he was hoping for. Let me show you some pictures I took where I compensated for the contrast in the scene with some of my camera's features. Now this is my flat file I use for all my photographs. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. Here's a photograph I took where I looked at the background, I analyzed it and basically took everything out of it, just made sure it was a nice contrasting color to a sweater and there was nothing else for the camera to, to distract the camera's light exposure, meter, everything, so just paid attention to him. So right now we've got a great exposure on his face. In his skin tones, you can see all the details. Okay. This photograph, well, I knew I was dealing with a lot of contrast here. I've got the white wall and the medium tones of the weights and his darker skin. So what I did is I spot metered in on his skin tone with the camera and then drew back a little bit and took the photograph. That way it exposed correctly for his skin tone and for everything else in the picture. Okay, this one's a lot of fun. I was at a party and I used a flash. So what I did is I exposed the flash for her skin. And this way I was able to pick up detail in her skin and get the great color. And it didn't overexpose his skin either. And it just turned out great. It was a lot of fun. So by the end of today, Elijah should be able to take great photographs with the proper exposure just like these. The first thing I'm going to teach you today is how to analyze the entire scene and simplify that background. Next, I'll show you how to use the exposure compensation feature on your camera and help your light meter out a little bit. And then I'll show you how to adjust your light meter and expose for one specific area of your image called spot metering. And then finally, we'll come back here to the studio and work with the images on the computer using something called a histogram. Okay, there's no special equipment we're going to need today other than the camera. So while I head over to Elijah's, check out some of the other photographs I took using the functions on my camera to get the best exposure. Sometimes getting the most out of your digital camera means not letting it do all the work. Next, I'll show you how simplifying things can make your camera work even better and how you can take back some control to get the shots you want. That's coming up on The Whole Picture. <laughs> 